Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward, and you know this guy. This is Jake. So we're kind of inside today because it was supposed to um, supposed to rain. Supposed they had a hurricane somewhere. Hey, uh, if you were like me, you would have known that there was nothing to worry about. I won ten dollars last night. My son bet me ten dollars that the apocalypse was coming and the schools were going to shut down. And I told him, "Watch the weather. It's so going east. It's going east. It's going east." So you bet? Yeah. Well, you're, it was his idea. You're gambling. It was his you're idea. Gambling, no, it's my money anyway. Everything under the roof of that house belongs to me anyway. Amen. Amen. Hey, share this on all your platforms so that we can get the word out of what's going on. Uh, I know that many of you watch these and look forward to these. And uh, so make sure you share these. We have some these. fans out there. We do. It's that funny. Fan club. Uh, we were talking about it last night uh, where you said you and I went through re-engaged together That's and great. how scary that was. So, hey, let me mention a couple things. Uh, one is the last couple of weeks we've been talking about service. We've been talking about uh, getting involved and uh, the blessing of getting to serve uh, at, that that's what it means to be a follower of Christ. And so we want to continue to invite you to be a part of this because, hey, it is a blessing to serve, to give away. Because mm -hmm. what's so awesome is when we give it away is the Lord blesses us right back. And so uh, those opportunities will still be there this Sunday. Uh, our online campus, uh, our media, our sound team, our cameras, our first impressions team, our security. facility team, our su safety team security all those are still available and I'm really excited about this week because uh, I've told you over the last couple of weeks and Jake mentioned it last week I love this time of the year because we get to revisit why we exist and times are changing and things are different than they were five months ago Jake I don't know if you remember five months ago Barely. And, yeah so uh, but here's what's interesting the church hasn't changed the mission hasn't changed and so Jake's gonna be talking this week some of you guys that have been sitting out there thinking man I really want to join this church I want to be a part of this church um, this Sunday Jake's going to be talking about membership what it means to be in covenant membership with Summit Heights what you can expect from us what we expect from you so Jake why don't you talk a little bit about that so what I love about our membership class is that even if you don't want to be a member you can learn everything about Summit why do we do what we do? What are the things that we're passionate about? Why is it that uh, we do things this way? So it's more than membership. It's it's almost like a uh, an hour long vision casting, and so that you can really understand why God planted us here 15 years ago, 16 years ago. Uh, what this, what drives our decisions as elders and staff? You know, what can you expect from us? What do we expect from you? What, what yeah. you know, what does that look like? And, you know, why are we passionate about this? And why do we give so many, uh, so much of our resources to children and to youth and things of that nature? And so, and it's really mind-blowing. We're going to take you behind the scenes, and we're going to give you a blueprint of, of why we do what we do. We don't just show up to meet every Sunday. There's a purpose. There's a mission behind what we're doing, and you're going to be able to figure all of that out. Also, if you missed the opportunity to sign up for small groups, uh, you're still going to have that opportunity. All of our small groups are online on our website. You go to our groups page, and you can click and send an email to a small group leader, or you can email me, jake at summitheightsfellowship.com. I've got a list of every small group that's open. I'll have those available uh, in the foyer, and you'll have an opportunity to still get plugged in. A lot of our groups are not going to meet until that first week of September anyway, so you still have an opportunity to do that. Hey, I snagged another couple for our small group last night, awesome. Crouch. I'm awesome. becoming a recruiting machine. You know what they say about recruiting, right? What's that? You know all the good college football teams? Money, man. You pay. Boosters, man. They pay people. And so, you know, I snuck into your office the other day, took a you know couple of hundies out of your stash, and I started recruiting small group people. So our group's doing pretty well. Where'd you find that? Because I've been looking for that stash in, in this office and the your the kids. Church. Your I mean, kids told man, me. Man, I would love to find that yeah, stash. Your kids told me. <laughs> uh, hey, I, I do want to uh, encourage you. You know, I, I've had a lot of conversations this week, been touching base uh, with a lot of our folks and uh, just having conversations uh, in our community. And one of the things that continues to come up during this season is fear. 
is that we're still afraid. And man, if you watch the media last week's convention, this week's convention, all the stuff that's going on, uh, man, the enemy wants to scare us to death. And so I was praying the other night and I came across this John 14, 27, and it says this, I leave the gift of peace with you. My peace, Jesus says, not the kind of fragile peace given by the world, but my perfect peace. Don't yield to fear or be troubled in your hearts. Instead, be courageous. Be brave. Guys, I want to encourage you that. That's who we are. That's why Jesus died on the cross for us, to give us peace. Not the peace the world gives us, but peace from him, real peace. And so I encourage you with that today. I cannot wait to see you Sunday. By the way, Jake, what a phenomenal crowd last week in the house. It's pretty packed. Uh, I want you to be here this week. Uh, next month, we're starting a new series called Block Party. And it's going to be a party, Jake. I'm not even going to tell you what we're going to do because it's uh, it's going to be fun. I'm not much for getting out it's, and mingling. Yeah, it's going to be good. He even is going to get out and mingle a little bit. Summit, we love you. Hope you have a great weekend. Cannot wait to see you Sunday morning, 9 o'clock at risk service. Um, 11 o'clock, family worship. Kids don't bother us. Bring the kids. We want them to be there. Um, we love to hear those kids in there worshiping and talking and cutting up and all that good stuff. So I uh, cannot wait to see you. We love you. And uh, you got anything else? Nope. See you Sunday.